Welcome to the first video in the Spiritual Awakening series. I'm Susie Byler. I am a forerunner and emissary of Source Codes, and I felt inspired to share these videos with you about Spiritual Awakening because I've been asked over the years many times to share information about this, and I always felt like, no, 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 and all of a sudden it's time. So uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you the stages of Spiritual Awakening, and in truth, they aren't actually necessarily stages. If you think of it more like a spiral where you keep expanding and you keep moving upward, uh, that will, if you have that in the back of your mind as we go through this, that will help you navigate the spiritual awakening journey. So the first thing that happens with a spiritual awakening is some kind of catalyst. It could be a health crisis. It could be a death of someone. It could be really any life event. Uh, but there's some kind of catalyst to open you up to expanded consciousness so increased self-awareness, increased awareness around the world around you, increased awareness of spiritual ideas and concepts, increased ability to sense things, increased ability to, to feel things, to intuit things, uh, just general expansion of your consciousness overall. And then what can happen after this or simultaneous to this is increased emotion about what you're starting to see. So if you're starting to wake up and see things, for example, in the political arena, you might get angry, <laughs> totally normal reaction. Uh, some people, their awakening is very sudden. And so they actually go into psychosis uh, because the, the split from what they knew and what they now know is too intense. Uh, the divide is too great. Some people go into existential crisis. That's pretty normal. Been there, done that. Uh, you And again, the spiral concept, you might experience that many times along your journey. These, these mini existential crises or going into the void, uh, feeling confused, not understanding what's happening. That's all normal. That's all part of the journey. Part of your journey, a stage that is really ongoing throughout, but healing. Old wounds may come to the surface. Uh, you may feel drawn to inner child healing to really work on those deep-seated wounds that you had from your childhood. You will likely, hopefully, go through some repatterning and rewiring. And this is something that you'll want to do intentionally because as you release the old, you want to repattern yourself with the new. Another stage is activating your spiritual gifts, your life purpose activating more of who you are, more of your soul essence within your body and being. It's very common to want to change careers as you go through your journey or change how you navigate in the world as you reflect more on why you're here, what you're here to do, who you're here to be. Your soul purpose will activate, your uh, spiritual gifts and talents will activate. That's all part of this journey as well. And then we have the multidimensional expansion. And this is really, this is, this is maybe harder to put into words, but more of your aspects that reside and interface with other realms, realities, dimensions will begin to come alive. You'll begin to activate. You'll begin to sense more of different parts of yourself. And you'll understand that you're not just living in this reality. You also are interfacing and parts of you residing in other realities as well. And what you want to do with that understanding is two things. First, you want to set your intention to integrate all of that into your physical human aspect, your physical human body and being. And then you also really want to work with grounding because as you expand up and out, you need to have an equal amount of grounding down and in because you are here on this third dimensional planet. That's what we're dealing with still right now. So you need to be grounded. So you're going to have to figure out what your grounding point is, whether it's planet Earth, the new Earth, uh, galactic core, universal heart, you know, whatever it is for you, you're going to have to go through that journey to figure that out because you're going to need to consistently work with grounding as you expand. Now, it's normal during this journey and during all of these stages and phases 
to question, question yourself, question life, question the things that you thought you knew were true. And in fact, I encourage you to question. Don't just listen to what I say. Question, does this resonate with me? Is this my truth? Is this something I want to embrace and follow? It's normal to uh, change direction in your life. Like I said, change careers or maybe change how you navigate through this world or you change your relationships. And it's totally normal to change your beliefs. Uh, personally, in the past two decades, I've gone through many different belief systems and they were all, you know, resonant at the time. And the whole idea with this awakening journey is continued expansion. And so it makes sense that you would continue to adopt new beliefs, shed old ones, you'll continue to uh, activate new gifts, maybe shed old ones. Uh, you know, there's there's so much on this journey. It's a very ripe and rich journey. And you'll really want to stay as open as possible through your heart, through other energy channels in your body, so that you can really receive and embrace everything that is unfolding in your world and surrender to the divine, surrender to God, Surrender to Jesus. Figure out what is your truth and connecting to your own source and connecting to God and the source of all that is. This is all part of the discovery. The awakening journey is a discovery process. It's a remembering process, remembering more of who you are. And so what I've given you here in this video is an overview. And then in the subsequent videos, we're going to dive deeper into different topics that you may experience along the way on your journey. So I hope this was helpful for you. And if you're excited about this series, I encourage you to go to creationtemple.com slash donate and just give a little something to show your appreciation. And thank you for watching these videos.